Sometimes people ask the question with regards to a technical matter when it comes to a property conveyance. We're going to go see Tolly Savanides of PTW Law and get some clarification on that. Welcome to MGM Properties. Here we're all about community, lifestyle, culture and family. So come be part of ours. Here in our local neighbourhood, we have a number of great solicitors and I'm here with Tolly Savanides from PTW Law. Tolly, thank you very much Michael, for your time today. You. Great. You. I need to ask a question. Customer walks in your front door. What are the services you can offer when it comes to property transactions? Well, uh, Prior Zarnas & Wallace has been in the immediate area for over 61 years now. Mm -hmm. We have been here for some considerable time offering various services, including any corporate commercial and transactional work, predominantly anything to do with a business or tax structure. A typical question a lot of customers have is when it comes to buying a property, should they be look, what is the reason they should be looking to a solicitor in comparison to a conveyancer? The issue is that it's always good to have a solicitor to understand any legal or other technical issues that might come out of uh, a dispute with the other side um, to ensure that they have that good sound knowledge uh, to get you through to the contract to settle and then complete and you know move into your property. So the essential difference is that um, conveyances are good. If conveyances have access to solicitors, it's even better. A lot of the problems that can arise for a particular purchaser is when it comes to changes to a contract that they need because they need to sell a property they need a, a, a delayed settlement, for example. Have you had any examples that the use of a solicitor in those circumstances would give rise as to a reason why they should be using somebody like your firm? Yeah, it's very interesting you raise that point. We find um, as time goes on, certainly 20 years ago it wasn't as dramatic, but certainly now, the extension of time, especially with cash flow requirements, is a much, much more important issue. Um, and the ability to not only negotiate, but to understand the technicalities of how you can um, facilitate various clauses in contracts to suit and be to the benefit of your client are very, very important. Um, timing is everything. Uh, it is the quintessential difference between um, profiting or just buying something um, at a market value just like everybody else. Um, and it's always good to have that competitive advantage. Great. Well, Tolly, thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. your time. I'm here with Peter Xanthodakis, who's the licensed conveyancer of PTW Lawyers. Thank Hi. you so much today. Thank you. Peter, there's been some recent changes to the way banks are handling property transactions, especially at the time of exchange. Can you explain what does that mean to the average purchaser? Well, as you know, the process has always been when you find a property you'd like to purchase that you would usually have the bank go out, do their valuation, yep. provide uh, finance approval mm -hmm. and then be in a position to exchange. But recent changes with the bank uh, rules in terms of valuations now require the purchaser and the um, vendor to commit to a contract yep. um, exchange with a five day cooling off period, preferably 10 days, um, so that the bank will then uh, see the commitment there and go out and value the property. That's why there's a lot of purchasers through their solicitors that are asking for delays in the cooling off period. Absolutely, through no fault of either party um, and, and more so for um, the interest of time and making sure that the banks have enough time to be able to go out and value and do their sums and provide finance approval, we find more often we're asking for 10 days cooling off period yep. just to be able to make sure that we don't run out of time and then be in a position to continue on with a contract that we don't know the answer for. Okay. So I guess good communication between the solicitors or conveyances always helps. Absolutely. And more so too, I think it's important as a purchaser to go and have your chats with your banks and your mortgage brokers, maybe even have a backup mortgage broker in mind um, so that if the valuation does fall over, mm -hmm. you have somebody else to run to within those 10 days so that you can still see your deal go through. That's a great piece of advice. Thank, Thank you. you. Peter, thank you so much Lovely for being on Neighbourhood with MGM Properties. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was some helpful information from PTW Law. I hope you get something out of it. Have a great day. Here's an opportunity for you. Here's a cup of coffee. Let's have a chat. We'll discuss your investment property, your rental returns, 
anything I can do to help you.